Now, if you're like me, you're really short on time. So when you get a fishing trip that you can go on, you kinda ain't got a lot of time to be jacking around. Well, if you're catfishing, and if you're looking for big catfish, I found out this year, your best bet is to use fresh cut bait or live bait. Well, what if you don't have time to go fishing and catch some bait to use? This happens to me a lot. So what I decided to do about a month ago is to put together a live bait tank that I can keep in my garage. Like I said, I've had it for about a month, so I've been able to play around with it just a little bit. Now, there are tons and tons of videos on how to build these really, really cheap on YouTube. I didn't go the cheap route. I didn't spend a ton of money on mine either. What I did is the easiest way that I could find to make a bait tank and make it work. I'm going to show you guys what I used and how I did it. Okay, so what I used for the tank itself is a 110 gallon water tank or water trawl. I got this from Tractor Supply. It was regularly $69.99. I believe I got it on sale for $59.99. It does have a spot that you can drain the water out of if you wanted to. Like I said this is a tough stuff. They had some rubber made ones there, but they're a lot more expensive. And I don't see why this one right here wouldn't work and it was I think about 20 bucks cheaper than the same size rubber made. All right, to keep your fish alive, you're going to have to have some kind of way to circulate the water and filter the water out. Uh, what I did is I bought a two-in-one off of Amazon. It is a filter and it also has a pump. So it filters the water and pumps it. The water comes out of that little top spout. Exactly what this is, is a little pond fountain like you'd have in your front yard or your garden or whatever. Uh, so far, it's done okay. This thing has kept fish alive for over a week. Uh, any longer than that, you might want to try to look into some of that DIY stuff. A lot of people out there are using like five gallon buckets. And you can build one of them fairly cheap, but you're going to have to buy a pump too. All right, you're also going to need a little bit of air to pump through the water to keep the water oxygenated. I got this one from eBay as well. Uh, it's uh, a Magitarium. See, it says for aquarium, 60 to 100 gallons. Now, I know my tank is 110 gallons, but I'm not filling it all the way to the rim either. So, uh, I figured this one would work. It has two little ports, too. And as far as that goes, I used the little stone that this came with right here. It came with the tubing, too. But I went ahead and went to PetSmart or Petco, and I picked up this bigger stone to help put out a little extra air. I'm gonna spread it out too. All right, once you get it filled up, all you got left to do is turn your pumps on. All right, so I went on a little fishing trip today to try to catch some bait, and I was successful, I suppose. <laughs> Got a little rained out, but I caught some buffalo in my cast net. I caught a couple white bass on a rod and reel. I actually caught a 10-inch crappie, too, on rod and reel. I caught a couple bluegill uh, and a few shad. I'm going to take them shad, and I'm going to freeze them. Everything else I'm going to put in this bait tank right now.
All right, there you have it. Um, like I said, I caught some shad today. Shad do not do well in this bait tank, I found out. I mean, if you get a day out of them, that's doing really good. So I'm gonna take these shad out and I'm gonna go ahead and freeze them and use them tomorrow if I get a chance to go catfishing. Uh, some fish are just more hardy than others. They can withstand being in this bait tank longer. I caught a bunch of buffalo today. It's kind of small buffalo about this big. Uh, they don't do too great either. You can get uh, two or three days out of them max for whatever reason. They just don't like being in captivity. Now bluegill, uh, crappie, crappie really aren't that hardy for whatever reason, at least in my experience. You can get maybe four or five days out of them. Bluegill you can get at least a week. The most hardy fish I've seen so far that I put in this bait tank is actually warmouth for whatever reason. Uh, creek chubs do good. The only downfall to putting creek chubs in something like this is you're going to need to find a cover. Uh, you can do anything, just you know, want it to be to where they still get air, like something that's mesh or like a expanded wire or something like that. But there you have it. Do it yourself bait tank. Is this the cheapest way to do it? No. Is this the easiest way that I found that I could do it? Yes, because this is all plug and play. Everything was delivered to my door except for the bait tank itself. And like I said, I just went to Tractor Supply and picked it up. Everything else came here, opened it up. Very, very minimal of assembly to it. I plugged it up and I have a bait tank. Fill it up with water. Pretty simple. And it works for what I need. I'm not trying to keep bait alive for like a month. I'm trying to go catch fish on like Tuesday and then catfish on Thursday or Friday, sometime that week. So one week, this bait tank works great. Uh, I hope this helps you guys and uh, maybe give you some ideas of how to build your bait tank. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next one.